channel, um, I give life advice, mm -hmm. unfiltered, right? So I know a lot of guys, especially when I'm at the gym, I call it Gandalf balls. Okay. Okay. So what happens is there's so a lot of... So does this say you shall not pass also? Or? <laughs> <laughs> this week's episode of Feeling Sisters welcomes Stevie, who teaches us about integrative body psychotherapy. So we have a thing called a basic fault, mm -hmm. a belief that we have that is not true about ourselves. I am defective. I'm not lovable. I'm lonely. Mm -hmm. Those type of things. And what we do is we go through life trying to... Um, prove that that's right. And it shows up in relationships, it shows up at work or whatever the case is, mm -hmm. but it's a false narrative. I, I know that there was, you know, three things that yeah. has occurred in your life. Yeah. And one is very, very significant. The first one, the altar. I wanna, um, I wa you know, if, if, you yeah. know, no, if, it's, I, if yeah. it's something that you can share. I can't <laughs> share, I can't share this. Check out new episodes of Feeling Sisters every Sunday morning on Eat, Read, Love. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. We're just going to be doing a brief announcement, meaning it's going to be like five hours of announcement with 30 seconds of reading. You got me? <laughs> so if you're new to this channel, I am very, very much always happy. I enjoy my life. So if you are not in that vibration, chances are this reading is not for you. I laugh a lot. I do a lot of stuff here that is basically not concerning the reading, just to give you guys a heads up, okay? So <laughs> follow me in, uh, how to say this, in, there is a card there that's a good morning tea. Um, there's also the Feeling Sisters every Sunday, so make sure you tune into that one. Um, there's a webinar and workshops in the description box. There's 21 and 28, the Entrepreneur work, uh, Workshop that we are having. That's two Saturdays. Um, so I've already explained that in other videos, so I'll keep that brief. And then um, the personal reads, it's available in the description box, but it's always, always limited. Also the natal chart, that's limited to once a week only because I'm headed to my retirement pretty, pretty soon around 12 o'clock, which is called lunchtime. Okay? So, so anyhow, without further ado, okay, let's uh, proceed your reading. Again, everything is in the description box. There is, uh, there is, I believe there's no extended two for this one. So it's just one reading and then there's all the way at the end an extended preview, shabangles. And I wish everybody a happy, happy day because if I'm happy and you're shady, you gotta go, okay? Bye guys. <laughs> All right, Aries, so let's begin your reading. I just came from a party. Okay, so I have a blow up. No, <laughs> blow up? What is this, a doll? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, how are you? <laughs> I swear. Okay, Aries, you are naughty. Anyway, okay, so let's begin your reading. Follow me in South Bidora. I post there. Um, the transits, transit planets and the stars, and I also do now readings there in tarot. So if I'm not here, I'll be reading you to filth over there. So you can catch your filthy self watching in Salvador. Okay, so let's see. That's that. Make sure you watch also the when it's you, it hits you. I also I go now from Aries to Pisces, all the zodiac plus. Uh, it's like I call it the new and improve. I call it you know what premium. <laughs> I like I like to make stuff up. Let's begin here, Aries. Let's see. Blue up. What is this? Oh. So, okay. So here we go. Let's see. Let's see what's going on, Aries. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Okay. I feel like it's so deadly to flirt with an Aries. Yep. I would it would I would be too scared also if Aries is my boss. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel I feel I'm scared. You got a tower, yes. <laughs> Who wouldn't be scared? You guys are known for your temper. Okay. And passion, right? Um, the tower is phallic, so it can be, you know, it's like you are known, you know, where other people uh, have ventured, which is, you know. Um, you know, that whole cloud nine, all right? getting to heaven, so close to the ethers, the tower. Mm -hmm. No, seriously, if you go to the additional tarot, you will see that the tower is climax. It is eruption, yes. Okay. Um, having a tower also, you might have just an awakening. That's a, this is a moment right now that you have. Um, the tower also shows transformation. Anything that you cannot take with you has to be destroyed. It's leveling off, all right? 
So think of it as like demolishing something. That's a tower. Yeah. But if you experience it in your life, then of course it's traumatic, especially if you're inside it. Yeah? That's a tower. Okay, so that's a lot of destruction. That's a tower. Tower moment in our life. You know, normally we call it breakup. I call a breakup the angel of my life. <laughs> it's a blessing. Out one, in one. Next, please. Oh my god. People believe in forever. Mm -hmm. Ace of Wands, you're spicy. Okay. Ace of Wands with a tower, you feel very, very attracted to someone. This is another phallic card. You're in heat, okay? So if you are, uh, you know, if you're, a, you know, like those puppies, you're in heat. Mm -hmm. So having the tower, you find someone very, very attractive. You just met this person, can be another fire sign, yes? Um, but normally, if this is very Martian, it can start fast and fast, okay? So what you want to see in relationship is blessed by Venus and then made sure sealed by Saturn. Yes. Venus is love, yes, right? So if you have Venus, for example, seventh house, love will be there. But, you know, there are times like Venus might look for someone else. So if someone has an aspect of Saturn, Saturn rules it and it sticks together. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would want to see a Saturn and a Venus. In a chart but here ace of wands of course you know you feel so drawn to the person you probably have um, magnetic attraction to the person already that's ace of wands now ace of wands can be a start a new beginning of creativity especially with the tower because ace of wands for me is like think of it where you want to express yourself all right so this fifth house energy so it's leo right so you could be trying to learn a new skill you're going back to school studies self-expression doing what makes fun for you and see, that's the tricky of the fifth house. Because if fun for you is S-E-X, then you're going to keep banging Ace of Wands. Now, here's the problem. If you ain't Ricky Martin, so why don't why would you go she bangs? Yes? Mm -hmm. Let me see here. You got Ace of Cups. All right. So you're cleansing here. No, cleansing with your thoughts. Because you found someone that you love, right? Or you can, you're going to meet someone... Now, normally, this kind of uh, combination for me is going to be a Scorpio Sag, okay? Um, can be a Pisces Aries and a Cancer Leo-ish, okay? Because I call this my Gandanta card because it crosses over from fiery to watery, okay? Uh, watery to fiery, okay? Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, you, you probably have a karmic knot with a the person. There's a past life, okay, between you and this person. It's amazing, okay? Um, but it's one of those uh, karmic knots, meaning... Um, there are some unfinished business between you and this person, you and Sammy, but it's just starting. So you're just going to meet a new soulmate and, you know, it's like, don't, you know, it's like soulmate comes in different forms, right? Um, so it can be anyone right now that you are, but of, of course, this is very passionate. So it can be um, the person that you are already dating. They're looking at you like you are an entree. Mm -hmm. So someone's watching you. You could have, you could have just relocated with a tower, move into a new place also. Mm hmm you're finding really someone new. Justice card, marriage material. Okay. Justice, Ace of Cups with the Ace of Wands shows um, either you have separated from someone and now you want to marry someone else. Yes. Um, someone here could have cold feet. Mm -hmm. um, this is what I'm feeling for, for others. Like you, like you had someone, you didn't want them, you jumped to the next one. Okay, so there can be some energy of rebound. You just, someone, you could be the rebound also. Yes. Um, I'm just feeling from the tower. If this is like instant um, attraction, I feel like it's just it's not gonna last long. Okay, but if you're gonna tell me, it's like no, I've been single for a while with the tower. I met someone new. Okay, and you feel that it's good. This is Libra, seventh house. Venus right now is in Pisces. It's exaltation. So with Venus being comfortable right now in Pisces, and it's gonna keep, get closer to its uh, exaltation degrees. I feel like it's 27 degrees. People who have good Venus placement, they evolve. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to see a Taurus rise. You're going to see, um, you know, Libra's rise. You're going to see exaltation if you, if you have exalted Venus, meaning Venus in the 12th house can be good. You know, Venus in the 7th house can be good. Um, you know, Venus in the first house can be good. So I'm just seeing here like new beginnings. Of course, you're going to get lost with my astrology. But those placements are important because that's how I read chart. If Venus is doing happy... All those people who are blessed with Venus, who has good placement, they're going to be happy also. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because you will see people looking gorgeous, you know. This is that part. They're gorgeous. Ace of Wands is gorgeous. Seven of Wands, so you're not going to date the ex, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. 
That's legit. You're not gonna part, be part of another breakup. Yes. Mm. Okay. Venus in Libra also exalted. Mm. Three of Swords. All right. So you're restricting any kind of interference with people who has hurt you. So you've blocked. You restricted. You already filed TRO, temporary restraining order from the person who was abusive. Can be with a tower. Just saying. Okay. Because your justice card is here. No, I'm not kidding. With a with a TRO. But I call it PRO, permanent restraining order. Get out of my life, right? That's a seven of wands. Get out and never come back. Three of swords, you hurt me too much and I couldn't take it anymore. The tower, shebang. Mm -hmm. You guys are having such a crazy, crazy energy. Mm -hmm. You have your page of swords, so someone is snoop dogging you. When I say snoop dogging, it means someone's watching you being snoopy. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Can be a younger air sign underneath the justice nine of wands. Someone wants to surrender to you. Um, this is what's good. This is Martian energy. Someone wants to submit uh, to your presence with the justice card. This is someone who's paying uh, loyalty to you. Nine of wands with the justice card. I'm gonna be loyal to you. I'll be there for you. You know, it's like boys to men. Is that boys to men? I'll be there for you like no other. So something like that. Or I make love to you. Okay. Let's see. Well, I'll make love to you. That's Ace of Wands right there. Ten of Cups. That's good. You're prioritizing yourself and your happiness. So if this person is not going to make you happy, get out. Mm -hmm. Well, in a nice way. Meaning, the door is there. Please, you know, walk out. Ten of Cups. You're going to meet someone new. Half, you're halfway there. So let's just say, um, what is halfway there? Uh, if you've been do doing your healing, you know, it's like focusing on yourself. Um, you know, claiming your coins and all this stuff. Under three of swords, the world card. So clearly you've learned from the past lover or any kind of past situation that you don't want to return. Mm -hmm. Well, Amazon does offer return, you don't. You understand me? Okay. Under the page of swords, six of cups, a new soulmate, ten of pentacles, shebang. You're going to get someone who's abundant, ready to commit, and give you everything. You my everything that's it ten of pentacles with the ten of cups what else do you want what else um one you want to meet them because <laughs> i feel like you haven't met them yeah it's right here i feel like you're just coming out of life in transition with the tower you've released you know you've blocked energies from the past no way jose um and as you've learned that with the world card you can be traveling you're going to meet someone new with the six of cups justice can be someone who's working for the government but the Good thing here is like they can give you love and commitment together. All right. So follow me in the extended next to this extended preview. I'm not sure if there's extended too. I don't even know what day it is right now. Yeah, there's nobody. There's no one. They're saying me. They're telling me. But follow me in the extended preview. Make sure you watch the when it's you, it hits you. Because I know you don't watch your readings anyway. Why am I even bothering? No, I'm kidding. I'll see you. Bye, guys. Hold here. Okay. So let's see what's going on. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. All right. So taking things slow. Okay, see, I had to speak in Spanish. Yeah. My caramba. Mm-hmm. Is right here. So the person feels in love with you. Is a past. It was a past person. Six of Wands. You're looking like a snack. Three of Cups. Looking for happiness. King of Swords.